everyone and welcome to today's video. So today I'm unboxing a big box that I won in a recent giveaway from Shab. So she does have a YouTube channel which I will link in the description of this video so definitely make sure to go and check out her videos but I just thought it'd be really fun to unbox all the products in here. It's all a complete mystery. Her giveaway was a total surprise so yeah i'm really excited to see what's in here so i have just opened up the box and first of all i can see so many things in here so first of all massive thank you to shab for putting together this giveaway box and yay for me being the winner because i just can't wait to have a look through everything and see what's in here but the first thing that i can see in here is this product here from illamasca and this is their Hydravale Rehydrating Gel. And I have tried this out before and I really, really loved it. So always good to have another. It comes in this little pot like this. And I really do like Illamasqua products. I think I've almost finished my one of these. So yeah, brilliant. So the next thing in the box is this Karina makeup sponge. And in my opinion, you can never have too many makeup sponges. So this will definitely come in handy and make good use of it. The next thing is really, really sweet. So it's like a little door hanger. And as you can see, it says do not disturb, pound per session in progress. It's really cute. It's this little wood door handle with this all printed on so that's really really cute as well the next thing in here looks so fun so it is this skin treats face mask this is their super soothing giraffe sheet mask and you can just see there that's what it looks like so this looks so fun this is vegan as well which is great and yeah i really really love a face mask and i think even more so these ones that look a bit fun so really excited to try this out and probably see how hilarious it actually looks on oh okay and this is the next thing in the box so this is the beauty pro retinol under eye patch and this has got retinol vitamin c and aloe in it so I bet that's going to be really nice and soothing for my under eye. But really getting into eye masks, actually, I think I've used up all of the ones that I have. So this has come at quite a good time. And then the next thing I've pulled out is this really cute little heart bath fizzer. So I've been having loads of baths recently where it's just been a bit cold and miserable so this one here looks really cute and i'm looking forward to trying that out in my bath and then this is the next thing from doll beauty and i have never tried out any of their products i'm not sure exactly what is in here okay so i'm guessing it's like a oh it's all sealed up like a foil eyeshadow and i think this is in the shade bubblegum by the looks of it but that looks Oh, maybe it's a, oh no, actually it's not um full. It's like a loose pigment. That is such a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. It almost looks, I think, a bit pinky orangey. But yeah, I've never ever tried anything out by this brand, but I have heard really, really good things. I'm definitely really, really excited for that. And wow, can't believe that she's popped this in the box as well and then the next thing in the box is this little blush by lottie london so this is their ombre blush in the shade haze and that is a really really pretty blush color definitely a shade that i would use it's not too dark not too light and you can just about see the ombre effect of that which i think is really unique i've never seen that in a blush before and then the next thing i've pulled out i feel like everything i've pulled out has been really pink so far i've probably picked quite a good t-shirt and makeup combo today to do this but the next thing is this nails ink nail polish and this says be your incredible self with nails ink and this is their shade mayfair lane so that is a really really pretty shade probably a good one for the spring the next item again is something that i've never tried before and i don't know i probably would be a bit scared to try but it is this hollywood browser so this is for shaping your eyebrows removing peach fuzz you get one browser in here and a protective 
pouch so it just shows you there and then the next thing in here again sticking with this pink theme i feel like she's been very color coordinated with this box and this is the beauty crop fabulous flocking lashes it's a waterproof mascara nourished with argan oil and jojoba so i've never seen a mascara in this kind of tube before so i'm really really intrigued and also I have heard of the Beauty Crop, but I've never tried out any of their products. So what a perfect opportunity with this one. I really, really like the packaging. It's got all these little flamingos on, which I think is just really, really cute. Okay, so this is the next thing in here. Again, something that I have never tried before, and it is this Seba Med Clear Face Antibacterial Cleansing Foam for impure and acne prone skin. So it combats pimples and blackheads, effective antibacterial action and gentle pore deep cleansing. Okay, there's just so much in this giveaway box. I'm just absolutely just shocked and over the moon with everything. So the next thing I pulled out is this turmeric face mask. This is the Dr. Botanicals Turmeric Superfood Restoring treatment mask so it says smooth a thin layer onto the skin after cleansing toning and exfoliating avoiding the eye area leave for 20 minutes and wash off and use two to three times a week so let's see if it's got any sort of fragrance oh it smells really nice actually really interested to give this a go i've never tried anything like this before or anything with turmeric in okay and this next product here sounds absolutely gorgeous so this is the mitchell and peach english leaf body oil and it says here it's blended with almond oil and vitamin e this body oil leaves skin soft and scented so you just apply a small amount to your skin and massage in gently so let's have a little look at this mm, yeah that smells absolutely delicious smells really almondy i'm not going to pour any out because i'm probably going to spill it everywhere okay so the next thing in here is actually something that i've used before and i absolutely loved and it is this hair mask here from christoph robin so this is their hydrating melting mask with aloe vera for hydrated hair shiny and plumped lengths and it's for dehydrated and dull hair and yeah, I had one of these before, I think maybe in like a Look Fantastic box or a Glossy box, that kind of thing. And it was the first time then that I tried it out and I absolutely loved it. But I've used it all up and just, I suppose like everything, just haven't got around to purchasing it again or I've been using up other hair products. But yes, very, very pleased to see this in this box. Okay, then the next thing in here, again, is something... That I've never heard of before and also another brand I've never heard of before so it is this little box here it is Cougar by Paula Dunn it is the B Venom facial serum and it's to plump and rejuvenate it's a very eye-catching packaging I do have to say so just having a little look on the back here it just says after cleansing smooth gently into your face and neck using upward and outward motions so it's in this little bottle i mean i don't really know what bee venom does i don't know what kind of properties it's supposed to have or what it's supposed to do i suppose it says plump and rejuvenate so i'll definitely give this a go i've yeah never heard of this sort of thing or tried it out so very interested to see how this goes well, there's just a couple of things left i can't believe again how much stuff that she has popped in this box it's absolutely amazing so this is the next little thing in there and it's this Ciate London Mango and Lime Burst Nourishing Lip Oil and I've been using a Colourpop lip oil and I absolutely love it. It's like that happy medium between like a lipstick and a lip gloss. It, the lip oil I have been using has really just made my lips feel really like soft and smooth. It's winter and everything gets a bit dry, doesn't it? So... This smells really, really fruity. Definitely getting that mango and lime coming through. And then the next thing in here is actually something that I really, really need. So it is a setting spray. This is the Saint Lux or San Lux. I don't know. I haven't heard of the brand. Love the packaging. Love the stars on it. Very cute. And this is their lightweight micro fine setting mist. It helps your skin to retain moisture and set your makeup with a glowy finish. 
It's formulated with active ingredients like purslane and hyaluronic acid, which help accelerate the healing of damaged skin and instantly hydrates, leaving a dewy finish. So yeah, I have a couple of setting sprays on the go, but they are both almost finished. So this has come at a really, really good time. It looks like this in the bottle. I like how it's still got all the stars and everything on. And yeah, I haven't tried this brand before, haven't heard of them, but it's a product that I really, really need. So thank you again. And yeah, couldn't have come at a more perfect time. There is just two things left in the box. And the first thing is this Molten Brown Bath and Shower Gel. This is their relaxing Ylang Ylang one. And I haven't ever actually tried anything from Molten Brown. I think apart from one time I was staying in a hotel and they had Molten Brown products, but I know that they are quite fancy and quite expensive. I always see them in John Lewis and think, oh yeah, they look so nice, but like they're pretty expensive. So let's get this open oh yeah that smells lovely definitely a very very relaxing fragrance and i think this will be absolutely perfect to have in my bath i love that it's this really deep purple color as well it's just absolutely gorgeous and smells heavenly okay and then this is the last thing in here so this is another product from Dole Beauty, and this is their Dole Light Duo. Oh, wow. Okay, this is really, really gorgeous. So this is a highlighter palette. So look at those shades. They are stunning. Definitely the kind of highlight shades that I use. I don't like to use, obviously, anything too dark. I do always go for these sorts of tones of highlights. So as I mentioned for the loose eye pigment, I've never tried anything by Doll Beauty before, but always heard really, really amazing things. So really, really happy to receive this in the box. I can't believe this is in here. This must be like quite an expensive product and is just so so pretty. So that was everything that was in the box that I won from Shab. So as I mentioned at the start, she does have a YouTube channel. So I will pop it in the description of this video. So definitely go and check her videos out. That would be great. And I've already messaged her to say a massive thank you, but just a massive thank you again for all of the really beautiful products. I am so excited about everything and I just can't believe how much was in there. It's just absolutely fantastic. Definitely made my day to receive this. So yeah, let me know if you've tried out any of these products, what you thought, or if there's anything here that caught your eye and you know, you fancy trying out yourself. I'd love to know. But thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give the video a big thumbs up, leave me a comment. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I'll see you again in my next video.